Okay, we got a 2007 Chevy Avalanche. Um, thing's got an airbag light on, so I'm gonna grab this and then you guys can see. I don't know where it says. So, airbag light's on. Okay, so we got the scan tool plugged in. So we've got a B0084, which is the passenger side front end crash sensor. Okay, so these airbag systems, you don't have to be afraid of them. A lot of people freak out if they see an airbag problem, they're afraid to attempt it on their own. Um, if you can't have the code read, it'll give you a baseline where to go. Don't just start throwing parts on it because you think that might fix it. It's such a waste of money. Okay, so the most common misconception that I get from new customers that come here is that uh, the scan tool, you just plug it in and it just tells you what to do and what part to replace. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, all the scan tool does is just tell you what circuit you should be focusing on. And that's the one that has an error. Um, it could be a failed part, it could be failed wiring, it could be a failed module. Um, you never know until you take a look at that circuit and that's why you have to charge a customer for diagnosis. Um, it's not as simple as just plugging it in and saying, oh, I have to replace this part. Because it's just a baseline and that's why shops charge so much for diagnostic time. Um, education is expensive diagnostic tools are expensive all that stuff adds up and you know if it was as simple as plugging in and replacing a failed part then anybody could do it and any part store would just run the code and tell you what they need okay I don't know how well that's gonna show up on video but if you see that like hump right there in the center where the bolt is um, that's telling me that this thing's corroded and the corrosion got in there and it's actually split the sensor um, what I'm going to do is just take it off now so you guys can see what's going on there. All right, you can see this uh, now that I got it off the car. You can see, I don't know if it's going to show up here. Um, you can see how corroded that thing is um, on both sides. So I'm going to take the tape off so you guys can kind of get an idea what it looks like underneath. And as I suspected, you can see it actually corroded all the way through and split so it actually broke the sensor and that's real common on these things all these chevy trucks do that especially when you're in the rust belt like ohio or michigan or something like that so um i got a new one ordered it'll be here soon so i'll put that in and then we'll uh retest the system and then i'll show you from there okay so the one thing i am going to say though is uh if you do get that sensor out and you want to try to bench test it there's really no way to test it um, one of the wires uh, monitors the current inside the sensor, and it's basically a feedback. The other one is the ground. Um, if you have one like this where it's all corroded on the inside, um, that's actually going to change the amount of current that that sensor has and that signal that goes back to the SDM, which is the sensing diagnostic module. Um, if your front crash sensors have failed on something like this, um, Usually, I mean, obviously it'll trigger the airbag light, but it will still have the side impact airbags if your car has those. Um, those will still work. Um, it just disables the front deployment of in, in the event that you get into a crash in the front end of your car. Um, but if you do get a new sensor and you drop it on the floor, any impact to it, I would not use it. I would throw it out and get another one because there is a chance there's two shorting bars inside so when you do get an accident on one of these and it actually smacks um, there's a little cam that closes the contacts and if that happens you know that will tell the SDM module to deploy the airbags so um, just use a little common sense when you're working on these and you should have no problem okay I got the new sensor in they're real quick and easy all it is is a 10 millimeter bolt Make sure you disconnect the battery when you're messing around with these things. So the last thing that you want to happen is to inadvertently deploy an airbag, which has happened before. Okay, now we're back in the truck. Um, I haven't done anything. I have not cleared the code. So I just want you guys to see what happens when you actually replace one of these. Like I said, it's constantly monitored. So you'll see the airbag light flash in right there. And then when we start this thing up, should go off right away.
and it did. Um, airbag lights off. Um, if we go to the scan tool and we see what we have, let's see, go to current codes and see if I can dim this down a little bit. Make it legible. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Um, so if we go to current, there's no codes present. So yeah, that's a quick and easy fix on one of these. So parts probably like 150 bucks, and um, these are real common failures on these things. So once again, thanks for watching. If we can help you out, we will. So thanks a lot.